What is up, y'all? It's your boy, Deep Finance. Today, we're going to be going over Hack the Box, <clears throat> Starting Point, Penetration Testing Path, Tier 2 Archetype Lab. Okay, this lab, you're going to get stuck on. Trust me. There's a bunch of people on forums. I don't want to just encourage you guys, but that's true. Okay, so you're mainly going to get stuck on the part where uh, you're almost next to the privilege escalation. If you are, if you have a success of running these two last commands, like uh, these two, this and this, if you have a success running these two last commands, just continue and don't end it. If you end it, there's a chance you might not be able to finish it. So, that being said, let's. Uh, and one sec. Uh. <clears throat> I don't want to give up, but I'm wasting too much time. All right, so you run this command scan your target right get it from here and then after that uh, you connect to SMB client and you have to get under the backups directory a file and the file will give you your password and username to log into the da database server and in order to get to the database server you have to download and pack it and it has a bunch of Python scripts, and with that Python script, you'll be connected to uh, MSSQL database, all right? After that, uh, you're gonna be, once you're in there, um, all right, once you're in there, if you're gonna be want, wanting to Follow exactly uh, what they're saying. Windows authentication, I'm pretty sure, is because we're going to be eventually connecting. This target is, right, Windows machine. We're going to be, so in the database server, from our Academy Linux machine, we're going to be connected to the database server. And our target, we're going to work with uh, a Windows machine. And, uh, talking from the database server. We're gonna be talking to Windows machine, right? And then with that, you're gonna verify who you are. If it's this admin, you are. And then you're gonna run all these commands. Okay, once you run all these commands, you're also gonna to connect to the HTTP server web server and you're gonna do a netcat listener on port 443 on your server. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna just verify if you can connect to that machine. You know, you can actually uh, run some commands and see if you actually can get in there. You can. You're not officially in there, but you can run some commands to see if you can get kind of like you know in there. All right. So after that, you're gonna be running PowerShell in the database server. This is to execute the XP command shell at the target machine, and then. Um, this is just to execute this PowerShell. And then you're gonna be going into this directory because that's where you're gonna to want to put your binaries and stuff, which is, you know, the netcat file. You're gonna get it from your HTTP web server, right? So we're gonna go upload It's going to be uploaded because you have to have, uh, should I draw this out? I think maybe I should draw it out. All right, let's draw it out, guys. I'm going to switch uh, things real quick. Paint. Visual learners kind of like you. All right. Now, uh, let me switch this to display capture. Okay, I have nothing to hide. All right. So, look, here is the HTTP server. There's the HTTP. Okay. Um, 
the Kali Linux machine, right? The directory you're gonna have the binary, binary, okay, the Kali machine, and also you're gonna start it, the HTTP server, wherever this netcat is, okay. <clears throat> And then in the database server, right, you're gonna be like, <clears throat> let me grab it. Okay. <clears throat> you grabbed it, and that's gonna be going transfer to your Windows machine. That's also hack the box. Hack the box IP address. Okay. So, <clears throat> I already went through all that. Let me get this file. Okay. This is your server. You put it here in the downloads. Okay. Now, the next one. So this is a reverse shell. So same thing is happening here. You want to place this executable in here. Okay, and you want to bind it to each other. So this is already here and the here. This is already in the downloads. Okay, it's already done the downloads, this one. But now you want to put this, you're going to put it in the web server. No, sorry. You're going to put in the netcat listener, okay? Uh, I think you don't have to do it in the same directory, but it's better just safe to do it anyways, okay? And your Kali Linux machine IP address. These are going to be Kali Linux machine IP address. Four four three. So yeah, be in the same one where where this one is, okay? And it's going here, and this is going to bind it. Once it's in here, it's going to bind it to each other. And this is just showing that it's actually working like this. And in order to bind it, you have to follow the cat listener, okay? Now, these are the two files. Okay, it's pretty much, I'm pretty sure, I think I messed up one part up. <clears throat> um, yeah, execute, yeah, go to the Windows target machine, this directory. Wanna get this from your computer. <clears throat> Sorry, from yours. And you want to be in the same directory, and you want to outfile this to there. So you grab it from your Kali Linux machine, and this is running in the database, right? Your Kali Linux machine, and then put over here, the target Windows machine from the database, right? And then the HTTP web server is just verifying that, oh, the transfer had been successful 200. All right. Now the next one, same shit. You know, target Windows machine to execute. So in the database server, target Windows machine. And go, let's go to this path and uh, wherever this one is in the downloads, bind it with this. Okay. And this is just confirming that it's actually, it went through from the Kali Linux machine, right? Went through. So. All right, <clears throat> don't spend too much time, guys. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to move on, even though low-key, you want to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. But you're not learning shit. Just trying to solve one thing in one year, you can learn so much. If it actually eventually works, because this is now is based on luck. This lab looks like it's based on luck. So what you can do, you can, what I'm trying to do once this is downloaded, 
do my own, own stock. There's a bunch of other labs too as well, but I like to do my own lab so I learn from the ground up. It's much more better. Uh, all right. So privilege escalation, the fun part. Okay. And in order to complete this, I'm just going to do... Um, nah, I'm not going to fucking... Uh, because I'm always, no, in order to go to the next one, though, I have to complete it. I have to do the flags, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I can just jump through straight to the other one. Other machines, can I? Oh, no, I can. Ooh, oops, that's the next one. All right, so we're just going to leave that as if they fix it. If they fix it eventually, then I can work and then complete it. I don't just want to be online and just grab the flag and complete it. No. All right. So, privilege escalation, okay. Basically, privilege escalation. Uh, start of the web server to verify the transfers a success, running PowerShell in the database, getting this file from our machine to here. And we're gonna put it to the Windows machine, right? And straight to the Windows machine, not even database anymore. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so. To execute it, so we got both of these now, Memcat and WinPs. Uh, CMD is already it's already binding into it, right? Uh, now, uh, let's see, downloads folder, executable snip output. Uh, it's a primary is a uh, Person name privilege. Uh, searching known files that you can. Okay, from the output we can uh, we can observe that we have SE impersonate privilege. More information can be found here, which is also vulnerable to juicy potato exploit. However, we can first check the two existing files where the credential could be possibly found. As this is a normal user account, as we, as well as a service account. It's a normal user account as a service account. Okay, so it's both. That is worth checking for frequent access files or executed commands. Okay, so yeah, users can, you know, get photos and all this shit. Also can execute like World of Warcraft or some shit, okay? And service account um, to run services. I don't know, Active Directory or something. Uh, so and to do that, we will read the PowerShell history file, okay? Which is equivalent to bash dot, dot bash underscore history, okay? For Linux, the systems, okay? To the, the file console underscore host dot txt can be located in the directory of this. Okay, so where all the stuff is being executed, right here. Partial history file for Windows, and this is uh, for Linux. Partial history file, I'm pretty sure it's this one. It can be located under here. You see? All right. So we navigate to the folder where the PowerShell history is stored. Right here. Read the file, we will type this. So as a user, we got, we were able to read uh, the files and services that the user tries to execute and or get. 
Okay. So let's just say user one time tried to get that uh, file, right? And then in that file, we can be like, oh, we can actually get that file and actually read it. So uh, and that file had a password, an administrator password for one of its other accounts. So there's a user account and an administrator account for Windows, okay? As a user, you were able to get uh, a file that one that user eventually uh, was eventually, you know, got that file. And once we got that file, uh, we read it and it contained a password for his other account, for somebody else's account that's administrator. Okay. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna run this one from the impacted suite. It's Python command, and we're gonna be getting a shell as administrator. Okay, so we're going to run this, and then administrator this time, target IP. So before we were doing what? We were doing uh, archetype, which is just the user. Username, archetype, right? Sys, sys admin, this. But who am I? Architect. Architect, so you're just the user. SQL server, okay. Sys admin from the database, but not over in the Windows. Archetype user, right? SQL servers. Now, 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 now. Uh, okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Pow. Oh, all right. So now you're an administrator, and guess what? Files are here. So basically, you just follow the exact same shit in order to, you know, concatenate the file. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.